What are you gonna get? I usually go with Red Bull, but I'm thinking. Switch it out. Go to Monster. I'll get, I'll get him on the deal. The old twofer? Yeah, I'll get the twofer. Yeah, I'll get the white one. Can't go wrong with the white one. Heck no. What's up, guys? Hey. Welcome back to another video. Today, we're going to go feed some pheasants. So, I work at a elevator. We're going to go get some grain and uh, got a few of our honey holes that we're going to go make sure our pheasants are getting through this thick, snowy winter. Yeah, we've got several feet of drifted snow on the ground, so help the population out by keeping them fed, fat, and happy. Yep, we're going to go get some corn here. We got Chief with us and three buckets in the back. He's going to be going nuts any second when we get out here to the birds. Oh yeah. We're getting Andy put right to work with the uh, shovel here. Nice corn. Nice and yellow. Should have brought more than three buckets. Perfect for the pheasants. Well, that's all I could find for buckets at home. That's like a half a bucket. Yeah. What do you think? If you were a pheasant, would you eat this? I'd be all over this. This is some perfect. Good looking corn. Good looking corn. Oh yeah. Be all over it. We got the rig all loaded up and ready to go. Okay. Sun's gonna be at the wrong angle here, but uh, you can see the ridiculous amount of birds that there is out here that is feeding. A lot of and some big boys too. There's, there's at least a hundred pheasants out here. I'm thinking that we should get out and sprinkle them. You know, a half bucket of corn. What do you think, Andy? Oh, that's a big fat rooster right there. Yeah, there's some big ones. Let's, let's go ahead and feed these guys. We better leave the dog in here though, so he doesn't disturb them. I don't think they're gonna fly away from us. Oh, well, they're all. Some of them are flying away. Some of them are waiting to see us. But either way, yeah, they ain't going too far. There's just crazy amounts of birds, guys. Over over a hundred pheasants right here. Andy's gonna go out here and sprinkle some around. That way, they got something to eat. Yep, we can't hunt these birds. These are really unhuntable birds because this is the airport right here, and obviously you can't have a gun at the airport. But birds I can't flying wow. everywhere. So many Look at them there. come out of that tree. That is insane. What happens when you have a short hair in the car and you see a hundred pheasants? You get to have whining in your ears for the next 15 minutes. He's upset that we didn't let him out. <laughs> you guys can tell as we're walking, the snow's deep. This is what these birds are having to having to work their way through in some spots. So we're gonna go out here in the open. I kind of like to get away from tall spots where hawks and stuff like that can can sit and pinpoint them and pick them off as they come to feed but somewhere where they can still get to cover easily. I think we're about eight, ten inches of snow right here too. Woo! For this place. I should feed them. Pretty out here with all the frost stuck to the trees. Yeah, it is. Hey, show them day one. We shot our first bird right here. Right, right here. Yeah, it was literally right there too. I know, cause I shot, I shot one and you and Randy shot one first round. Yep. It was fun. Opening, opening pheasant, opening day of pheasant season. That's like forever, forever ago. That's one of my favorite days of hunting of the whole year. Yeah, that was an awesome day. Really fun. 
Taylor got some damn good pictures. Well, we're uh, gonna go on to our next spot. We got a bucket and a half left. Stay tuned. See that the birds have been feeding up here because the snow's a lot more bare. CRP right across the road. This is my dad's place with the grove right here. So good cover. Not the greatest because hawks can sit up there, but easy for them to get away fast. One more spot. One more spot. The juice hole. The juice hole. Okay. Okay, let's go. Oh, I should probably pop the trunk, huh? Yeah, that helps. One last bucket. One last bucket. At our secret spot. Super secret. I think it's like right here. Well, either way, the snow's hard. is locking up. Big at it. Help, my God. Oh, yeah. That's nice. Very nice. Very nice. Very nice. Oh, that's our last pile. Hopefully, the between the, all the pigeons and the crows that are around, they don't they don't eat it all. Well. Well, that's all I got for today's video. All I got. Chief. You want to tell him? He's camera shy. I thought I thought that we'd see some birds coming out through here, but I thought so too. They're probably tucked up in there further. I don't feel like walking up into there. Pretty snow packed. That's uh, that's a wrap on today's video. Um, if you guys want more tips on how to do some stuff like this, or if you guys want more on why we did this, I guess basically we did it because there's too much snow on the ground. Birds can't get to feed. Animals can't feed when they die. Yep. So, hey, there goes one. There goes in there. Yep. Anyway, for the conservation side of it, can't have a good hunt without the wildlife, so we're doing our best to not only maintain the population by taking away from it, but also adding to it this time of year when it's going to be hard for them to have feed. So, yep. It's, it's a lot more than just hunting for us. We enjoy, we enjoy the animals and hunting them as part of keeping them to a healthy population, not that we're DNR officers or Pheasants Forever biologists or anything like that. But. No, and, and besides that, it also tastes pretty good. This is just simple stuff that we can do. Oh, that's all we got for today's video. Uh, don't have too much fun, bud. <laughs> <laughs>